What's up guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, tutorial slash uh, more of a quick tip today. Uh, it's gonna be a short one while I work on a new toolkit for next week, which is a long exposure uh, light streaking toolkit in After Effects to kind of uh, fake that effect if you wanna track something add your own light streak. So a uh, quick tip today, we're talking about how I like to compress my files for email and uh, sometimes even for storage. And uh, I like to uh, I use Handbrake every single day. So it's, it's not just for DVD ripping. So let's uh, take a quick look at Handbrake. So here we are, I'm at download.com and I'm looking at Handbrake. Make, make sure it's the one with the martini glass and the pineapple <laughs> because uh, there's some other weird ones that say they're Handbrake, but they're not. But yeah, this is basically a free program that you use to rip DVDs, but I use it every single day to send files to you know either Dropbox or email to clients or uh, upload to Frame.io, all those um, review systems that clients need. Uh, this is what I always run my uh, master file through then I make a handbrake uh, MP4 of it and I email that off. And if it's approved, then I have the ProRes and I'm done and I'm good to go. So um, real quick, let me show you kind of an example of the difference in file sizes that I got here. So here's my file. So this is the original ProRes file, which is 81 megs. Uh, definitely can't email that. This is a ProRes file. This would be considered the master. This is just the, uh, the Phoenix Open. It's about... In total in length, if I don't include this black, it's only 10 seconds long. So, 80, so 81 megs ProRes file, even if I export that ProRes file out of After Effects, encoding with H.264, at 1920 by 1080, which is what this movie is, it's still 15 or 16 megabytes. Now again, you could email that, it wouldn't be too bad, but for 10 seconds, that's, that's starting to get to be a big file. Now, the same movie, same settings, everything, Getting an MP4 out of Handbrake, 5.8 megs. Now, it's more optimized as well. So over time, it's gonna, you're going to get better compression settings and better quality out of Handbrake over a longer period of time than you would out of After Effects. Now, the advantage of this is a couple of advantages. One, it's fast. Two, it's emailable. Uh, three, you're going to save space in, let's say, Gmail so you don't use up all your space currently. And four, the main one is you can send clients you know, full HD 1920 by 1080 files for them to review instead of trying to figure out, you know, a 640 by 360, you know, a third or quarter of the resolution that you actually want to send someone. And so they're, you know, you don't, they don't get this tiny movie to review. They get the full 1920 by 1080 review of it. So here's just a quick look at the handbrake interface. Um, I made a couple of extra presets that I kind of use for myself, but you can also do something like high quality DVD rips um, and it has kind of the built-in profiles and normal high profiles, pretty much what's gonna get you done the whole time. So if I grab the Phoenix intro right here and I just drag it in, I can select the setting 1920 by 1080, click start, and I'm gonna override it, that's fine. And Handbrake is, and it's already done, Handbrake is a multiprocessor accelerated program, so it's gonna use as many cores as you give it and um, it's already done. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the features that it has. You can also you can also add movies to a queue and have multiple movie files in a queue and set it and forget it and uh, keep going and go on with your day. So, so there's just an easy one, quick tip today. Um, again, new toolkit and uh, you know free toolkit next week. So uh, subscribe if you wanna see that. Otherwise, thanks again. And I will see you guys next week in the next tutorial or the next live stream possibly this weekend. So. Uh, have a great one. I'll see you guys then.